Hi guys, welcome to another electronic clinic video tutorial. In the previous video tutorial, we designed uh, this plastic tray. So if you didn't watch this uh, tutorial, I will recommend that first watch this uh, tutorial so that you can have an idea how this uh, tray was actually designed, which commands we used. Well, in this uh, tutorial, we will do some plastic analysis that how much injection pressure it will be uh, needed for this part so how to do that select the solid work plastics if it's not activated go to the add-ins and select from here the solid work plastics Okay, now first of all, we will have to uh, apply the shell mesh automatic. Now, after this, we will have to uh, select like the fill settings now, or, or the polymer we will have to select the type of material in our case you will select the uh, let's uh, select the HDPE LDP Now we will uh, specify the the injection location. And click on the add location. Now on the fill settings, temperature we have to keep it 250, the mold temperature is 40 and the injection pressure limit is 100 megapascal. <clears throat> I'll be back after the processing is completed. The processing is just about to complete. <clears throat> Okay, now that our process time is completed, if you click on the animation, play animation, so that's how the part is filled. Okay, now if you look on the right side, this part can be successfully filled with an injection pressure of 55.6 megapascal, which is equal to 8062.8 psi. Uh, well, uh, the machine I have uh, can have uh, a pressure of about 
15,000 PSI so this part can be easily molded using that uh, machine so the injection pressure required to fill is less than 68 percent of maximum injection pressure limit specified for this analysis which means you are well under your specified level so now let's uh, check other thing like the pressure at the end of fill how much that is uh, 55 and these are different parameters uh, which you can study and let's uh, check the air trap check it means that in mode there are chances of the air traps at these locations so we can uh, include uh, air vents in our mold for the air to escape and cooling time which is 5.6 probably 6 seconds cooling time shear stress and the weld weld lines are going to be hit yeah which are almost negligible it may be fine Once again, let's bear the information, real lines and air trap and so total fill time needed for this part is uh, 1.28. That's it.